Hi, in this workshop we will learn how to create a custom shortcut menu in Access using VBA code. What we mean to create is instead of the regular right click menu, we will have our own right click menu like this one which we can use to move from one record, next to previous, or even print or save the form as a PDF. Of course you can print the whole form or you can print just one or two records. For a start, let me say if you try to search the same lesson over and over on, on YouTube or even Google it, you'll find it as a paid service. You'll find people uh, buy the resource we will use in this lesson. Um, actually, it is hard to decide to keep it as, as a paid or to give it for free, but as a concept, we will keep it for free. Uh, I'm going to delete this form. I'll create a new form using the chart table. I create a default form. I will switch to the design view. Um, let's modify the size of the controller so we have blank area to enable the right click. So right now this form has the default right click menu. The one comes with the, the axis. So for on open. If you find anyone trying to uh, explain the same lesson about creating a custom shortcut menu using uh, reference, don't follow him. Because if you use the, the access, uh, if you use the Office library, Microsoft Office library, it means this menu will only work with this level of Office. So if I use this one, it means this menu will only work with Office 2016. If I switch to another Office, the menu will not work. So, so we are not going to use this one. We are going to create the form on the run using the VBA code. So, I'm going to dimension um, new menu. Uh, this is just a name, any name, as an object. As you know, every time we create uh, an object, we have to set this object. So, I'm going to set the new menu object to equal the common bars dot add I will use any name uh, let's say custom short menu any name just a name uh, for the position we have seven option from zero to six we'll find the description on the attached file uh, we will use five which is a bob up which one we usually use with a shortcut menu is this menu is a menu bar false it is not is this menu is a temporary yes it is a temporary menu because every time you click outside of this menu you need this menu to disappear so if i write the name in a correct way it will have the same capture now i have an object this object carry a menu custom menu and i need to add common to this menu so new menu uh, dot controls dot add and for this uh, line of code there is no intelligence access will not help you uh, to complete so you have to uh, remember uh, this line and remember what we are going to type actually uh, the controls dot add requires five information but we will type only three of them which is the control type which is one because i need to add a button uh, then the command ID. Uh, for example, if I need to add a print command, the command for print is 15948. Do I have to memorize this number? Of course not. In the attached file, you'll find the list for all the numbers, uh, all the IDs for the controllers. Then the position, I don't care about the position, so it is just two code. And again, this command is a temporary one, so I'm going to use true. Now, let's try to uh, open the form, and we will get an error. In, in the first time, we don't get an error. In the second open, we get an error. Because every time you open this form, this form is trying to create a new object called uh, custom uh, short menu. But how can I create something that already exists? So, every time I open the form, I need to delete the custom short menu before I can use it. So 
common buzz which is name is custom I have to type the exact same name custom sm dot delete so every time you open so every time you open the HR form it will delete the menu then it will initialize create the menu one more time so now everything is fine so I need to use the custom short menu instead of this one so from the design view from others short menu I will find my menu here custom short menu okay we have only one comment this command is okay and fine but uh, if you close the database and try to open it you got an error because if you run this code and try to delete something isn't exist you will have an error so for this line of code I have to tell the code to uh, ignore the error if there is an error so an error resume next it means uh, if there is no uh, custom you cannot delete so skip and create it but if there is a short menu delete then create it again so now everything is fine let's add some more comment so I'm going to copy this one control C I'm going to create let's say four comments so I need a comment for go to a new record so you will find this file uh, attached so if I try to search for new record so to go new record we can use 539 so 539 so if I go to the database I have print new record print print uh, let's go to previous and next go to go to first go to previous 155 go to next 156 so 156 155 so now I have I have to close and open it again now I have a form with my own menu of course there's no previous here because I'm the first one if I go to the next one I can go to next which is 5 or go to previous and so on uh, that's it